fully God and fully man. Holy and blameless, gracious and patient, faultless yet conscious of what is to come. The cross. The most horrifically beautiful scene in all of humanity where the Son of Man is crucified. An undeserving creation being found forgiven by the love and judgment of life in the cross. And this man's death paid our debt that was ever so prevalent in place for us. It was he who knew no sin that became sin so that we might become his righteousness. A love ever so devoted who came to redeem what was once hopeless. Death, the end of one story. No matter how great the legacy, all will fade to memory except, except this was different. The only time in history where death is no longer an ending but the beginning, resurrection. The symbol of freedom from blinding sin and shame, a display of love that marked the universe's center and gave sinners like us a new name. Some 2,000 years ago, an empty tomb commanded the defeat of a once occupied grave and put death in its place. The most perfect chapter, written by the most effective author, Christ, and he has risen. His resurrection isn't just a date put in place for us to memorize and regurgitate as if it's merely a fact and not a conscience act of grace. It's not just a once in a lifetime phenomenon, but a daily occurrence by the same Jesus whose love for us goes on and on. No grave can contain it. Death couldn't escape it. The infinite expanse of his love pursues us. The galaxies bow and give way to the God who has redeemed us so. Let Easter be a day to celebrate that Jesus is breathing new life into all that was broken, numb, and dead. Just as Christ was resurrected by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life instead. Because the tomb is empty. And it always will be empty. O death, where is your sting?